Hello and welcome. So in this video, I'm just going to show you real quick how to essentially clone a virtual machine. Um, now, you can always fall back to snapshots, right? So let's say that this snapshot, I have some issue dependency, sure, it breaks. I can always go back to the snapshot, right, just like this. But I don't quite want to do that. And the reason why we might want to clone it is just in case it's a more separated process. So uh, it can happen, the fact that you get memory issues or this virtual machine just kind of breaks. And I just personally prefer to just have a clone version as well. And this will take a little bit of time to essentially get cloned. But if you're, if you're for instance, doing an exam like OCP, where you have 24 hours to complete all of the labs to essentially be able to pass the exam, uh, it's just a nice idea to have a separate one that you do not touch. You don't do any special configuration on. You don't touch any VPNs. Uh, you basically just have like a basic setup of like after you've done like update and upgrade, maybe install the preferred tools you have, create uh, the and uh, the web extensions and plugins and just kind of like the basic settings that you want on that machine. And then you take a snapshot on that machine and then you just let the clone version just be. You don't touch it at all. Okay. And you only use the main one, uh, right? The main one right here. And yeah, that is essentially just what I want to show. And I'm going to cut, I'm going to go ahead and cut to when it's actually done cloning. And I'll just show you how simple it is and just that it works really, really well. And as we can see, the clone version has essentially been created, clone right there. We can just take a uh, clone first snapshot like that. And I could just start the machine, see if it works perfectly fine. But now we have essentially have two separate VMs, right? We've just kind of cloned the state from the first one. That was a safe, clean snapshot uh, onto a different machine. And I've just found this to be extra safe if I really want to keep the contents of the uh, the machine and I don't just want to rely on having the snapshot of the of the other machine because again, I have encountered some just random issues and I have found this to be a little bit more reliable way. Uh, so yeah. This is going to boot up, but it's going to be perfectly fine as, uh, as you might think. So... So it boots up just fine, and obviously everything is working perfectly. It remembers the history, and it's essentially the clone version of the the previous. So you can copy, you can copy things over from a different terminal, and all of that, all of those interaction works perfectly fine. And um, and yeah, really no issues. We have perfect network connectivity and all of that stuff. So yes. But yeah, I really just wanted to show you this real quick in this video. It's really nothing special other than, uh, yeah, it works. <laughs> and uh, if you're taking the OCP or you just want to be extra uh, sure that the you have a VM that in a specific state that you just always want to reliably go back to, right? And you don't want to trust on snapshot alone. Although, obviously, this is just like an extra safe w way to do it, right? So take a snapshot on one and then you clone the machine and you keep it as a different machine as well. I've just found this to be pers personally a little bit more reliable but it does not really matter right but yeah i hope this was helpful it's a really basic uh, thing to do and yeah have an awesome awesome day